is this Skyloft? Or is it, it's not the Great Plateau, it's not the Great Plateau. At first I thought maybe I was confusing it for the Great Plateau, but this looks like Skyloft to me. That, right there, right there. There would have been a windmill right here. It circles around, there was a waterfall and you'd climb up. Oh, please tell me it's Skyloft. That would be- wrong button. That would be so cool. Please tell me. Okay, uh, where are we- we're going that way. Wrong button. I will get used to it eventually. Trust me, it is a good decision for me to have moved the buttons now. I will acclimate. Also, I haven't started a timer at all. <laughs> uh, some- some habits of Let's Playing kind of died hard, and this is one of them. I might end up just cutting this session up and not doing intros and outros. Just because it's, I mean, it's organic. It's happening, right? When I'm still so new to returning, that's a weird way of putting it. When I'm still so new, it, ma it makes sense that I, I'm just going to cut out a few distractions, and that's one of them. Am I going, like, the complete, did I just get entirely lost? I kind of forgot the objective I'm going for here. Oh, hello. That's another oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no. oh, no, they're wielding sticks. B is Y! Yeah! What are you doing? What are you doing? Ah. Ow! That's not cool. Hey! Ah! Get out of here. That's the wrong way. Okay, let's, um. Uh, uh, bear with me. B is Y. I'll get it, I'll get it. Ow. I will get it. Let's back off. That's the wrong button. Trust me, I will get it. I will... I will get it. I... Yeah! That's the power of the master stick. Long stick. It's fashioned from a tree branch as long sticks tend to be. <laughs> Let's go this way. Why can I whistle? This is a good question. Why am I allowed to whistle right now? What's the point? Oh, look, it's another Coruscant person. What voice shall I give this one? Hello, were you lured in by the delicious smells? I assume so. Ingredients are especially fragrant when roasted by a fire. They may be may also be tastier and more nutritious. I would not know. I have no tongue. And yet I speak. You're roasting them. Oh, you are unfamiliar to me. My apologies. Among my tasks is to explain anything that first time visitors might require knowledge of. You may have questions about this place. Please rest assured that a construct can answer them. I recall that your question was about roasting food. I roast ingredients by placing them beside the fire. I do not eat, but I am given to understand that it improves the taste. Our creators roasted ingredients in order to enhance their nutritional value. Do you have ingredients? I invite you to use this fire to roast them. Yeah, sure, I'll do that. First off, I'll... New! <laughs> I don't know. I don't know why that, that dialogue box was funny to me. Alright, uh, materials. I can roast frogs, can't I? Let us roast frogs together. And because he's squirming, I'm going to drop him right into the fire. No! You didn't see that. Let's roast some shrooms. That's the wrong button. B is Y. Sky Shroom? Toasted. Toasty, 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 toasty! Do I need any more than that? Heal heart. Eh, sure. It can't hurt. I don't know, I mean, in Breath of the Wild, you had to get them, you had to have them, have them start on fire. I don't know if... Baked apple, cool. I don't know if you can just set them next to it and achieve the same result. Oh, look at that. He's going through, like, a little animation where he's looking for mushrooms. He's also blind, because there's one right there. 
You are welcome to warm yourself by the fire. I encourage you to roast any ingredients that you have brought with you. Maybe another time. All right, uh, let's let's get some progress here. Exploration can come in time. As it stands, I have a first couple of, uh, you know, I have an introductory segment to get through, which is the same introductory segment that everyone gets through. AKA, it's probably the least interesting part. Ooh, what? Is that like a monorail? It's probably the least interesting part of the LP. So let's just acknowledge that. Have a little bit of character development. And just get through this, this part. The Temple of Time, which we definitely have. Bize. Poke, 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 poke. You like this? You like this? Look at this range. Can I just point out the range of spear attacks? I always thought that spear attack or spears were kind of bad in Breath of the Wild, partially due to uh, a couple of advanced techniques that I've been told are not in this game. But at the end of the day, you have you have to admit. You have to admit, spears have a crazy long range. Ooh. The master rusty broadsword. I am out of weapons. Let's drop. Okay, one thing, I can't drop that, man. Uh, one thing I don't like is every time I press X to drop something, it pulls the menu down, which is f f fine. It's not the end of the world, but once I have a, a large inventory, that's gonna be kind of annoying. Okay, so. Shield bashing is the same. At first it didn't actually work, but I think that was just my controller being weird. So shield bashing is the same. Now, I can't, I shield surfed off that? I didn't even jump. Uh, if you're unfamiliar with me, which, how, how did you get here? You, the YouTube algorithm has never liked me. Uh, if you're unfamiliar with me, I don't like flurry rushing, <laughs> but it's because it's good. <laughs> I I like the skill required to shield bash, and I like I like how cool it looks. Uh, so shield bashing, once I'm down with this game, once I, I've acclimated to it, is going to be my thing again. Oh. That door will open only to those with sufficient power. I'm sorry. I did not intend to startle you. It was I that spoke to you earlier. That arm originally belonged to me. I am Raru. Uh... Uh... Okay. Not what Forgive I expected you to look like, Raru. Unfortunately, I no longer have a physical form. In any case, that arm should allow you to open this door. It seems to have lost the power to do so. You might be able to restore it, but you would need to enter a place filled with sacred light. Ah, of course. Oh no. Why not visit the shrines on this island? Oh no. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> That's. Mm. Mm. The shrines. Yes, I am sure they are the key. I don't have a face cam. Maybe at some point that's something I should look into, but if I did. You'd see me kind of recoil and grimace there in, uh, in disgust. And that... Cool, thank you. <sighs> Shrines are the first flaw of Breath of the Wild that I would like to address. And I will be the first to admit that flaws... <laughs> that is the <laughs> Wow, that made a sound. We're gonna do that again, one second. Wow! That looks like it- that sounds like it does a ton of damage. Shrines? So, <clears throat> let, let's talk about the promise- What? Oh. Let's talk about the promised aesthetic of Breath of the Wild just real quick. 
It is an area, it is Hyrule 100 years after Ganon is victorious, and Hyrule has fallen. And yet, all we get in Hyrule, in terms of an aesthetic, you have a bow, you 100% have a bow, yeah. It, as in, our, the aesthetic that we get instead is some random rubble, some random rubble, and then... Uh, basically, uh, uh, and, and then basically, we get Apple commercials there from there on out. Mm, yeah, just, we get Apple commercials from there on out. It, they're sterile. How are you alive? There you go. They're sterile. They all look the same no matter what region you're in. And that's the one of my biggest problems with the Breath of the Wild, is that no matter where you are, everything is the same. From, from enemies to uh, shrines, the, the dungeons, quote-unquote, are really just four shrines duct-taped to each other. And I'm... I'm not okay with that. I'm I'm really not a fan of that. We could have we could have gotten so much with the aesthetic that they promised. We could have had ruined versions of the dungeons. I mean, really, we get peaks of it in places throughout the game. We we get to see. Uh... Also, I I love that I'm probably going through Skyloft as uh, right now, and I'm too blinded by my rage and disappointment. Uh... <clears throat> What was I saying? Oh yeah, we could have gotten ruined versions of dungeons. We could have we could have gone through Dragon Roost Cavern again, and we saw peaks of that with uh with the the fountains, uh the like the purification fountains or whatever. But as far as the actual dungeons go, they're just these. I don't like that noise. Is that a Death Star? Uh. As far as the dungeons go, they, they're all the, they're all largely the same. I need a weapon. Uh, let's shield bash this. Yeah, yeah, first successful shield bash, and it's the first shield bash I do. I still got it. And, and so that's that is one of my criticisms for Breath of the Wild. I I don't like how samey it is, no matter where you go. I'm I'm not okay with that. So. I hope this game has actual dungeons because that's one of the things I look forward to the most whenever I play Zelda games is revisiting uh, the ancient cistern or um, the earth temple or uh, the arbiter's grounds uh, or going back to the sky keep of, of Skyward Sword. But in Breath of the Wild, I don't, I never felt that. There's no, there's no excitement to return to those places. Uh, why, why is the... And I'm not going to, I'm going to withhold judgment, obviously. But as I said at the beginning, this is kind of my thesis statement for, uh, for talking about Breath of the Wild and seeing how it's been improved upon. Uh, for example, one of my problems, we're going to probably encounter it. So Link is very red right now. Uh, we're probably going to encounter it soon is Korok Seeds. I don't like Korok Seeds, but it's not because of the actual mechanics of getting them or the fact that they exist at all. In fact, I'm totally fine with that. It's the pro the problem is that they fill the map, and the reward for, co for collecting all of them, which I did in my Let's Play, is terrible. So, we're going we're going to cross that bridge eventually, and just like with uh, just because there are shrines doesn't mean that it's bad. I just want to use that as my talking point for Breath of the Wild because in many in many senses, I'm looking for this game to. Deliver what Breath of the Wild failed, failed to deliver. Okay, let's let's touch this. Let's stop talking. Let's move on. Encounter something new in the game. This is weird. In some ways, this kind of reminds me of a. Uh... Oh, it really reminds me of the Wind Waker. You remember those the shell islands that would uh, lead? Oh, that's so cool looking. Oh my word. That is, I love that. I love how that looks. Oh, wow. 
That is another thing. I, I'm I'm excited to see this. And here's the first point where I'm I'm legitimately impressed by the game. Even though I know this is a fairly simple like game design trick, it's been done in a lot of games before. I mean, it was done in Skyward Sword. But uh, Monolith Soft, who uh, develops Xenoblade Chronicles, um, they also are in charge of most of of Nintendo's map design now. They, they did a lot of work on Skyward Sword, Breath of the Wild. In fact, early on in the Breath of the Wild, like episode 15 or something, or like 10, I recognized the map and was like, this is Monolith Soft. They even do Pikmin maps at this point. Um, Animal Crossing. Uh, they have made so many good optimizations on uh, in Xenoblade Chronicles. Xenoblade Chronicles 3 has very few performance issues, and I was excited to see how that would carry over into this game. So far, I haven't really seen a dropped frame. I think it's running at 30 FPS, but I can for forgive that if it's consistent. Breath of the Wild? Kinda chugged. It kinda chugged. Oh, this is a cool loading screen. I like this. That's a good idea, showing the map. Tips and tricks. Also, it's a super quick loading screen. Hi. Oh. oh, I need a voice for him? <clears throat> ah, you made it here. This is a shrine of light. Long ago, I filled these places with light that purges evil. I believe this light will restore an ability to your right arm has lost. Mm -hmm. Now then, extend your hand. Oh, I was going to talk about that earlier. Technically, because Zelda left the Sheikah slate <laughs> for him, or the Parab plate or whatever it's called. Technically, she's the one who saw him naked, which eh, she gets a pass. They seem like they're a thing. I now have the power of <laughs> hand. Ultra hand. Wow, I, I was kind of on the nose. <laughs> Grab and move objects, rotate them and stick them onto other objects. Mm. This is the ultra hand ability. It allows you to move objects freely and attach them to other objects. <laughs> With it, you will be able to build a great number of things. Really, anything you can imagine. Mm. Use Ultra Hand and receive the blessing from the shrine. I'm actually still here, I'm just invisible. Remember that the next time you are you think you're alone. I'm always here! I am your hand! Please! Please remember that! <laughs> okay, uh, Ultra Hand. It's like Magne- oh. Oh! Alright, I don't know what that means. I don't know what that means. Oh, L. Super Stasis. Or Super Magnesis. Works very similarly. In fact, I'm gonna go to settings real quick. Let's see if I can change that. Camera sensitivity, aim with motion controls, swap motion. Uh, I kind of want to lock that to north. Maybe I'm a monster. Yeah, let's set that. Okay. That's it. No. Oh. Y is B. Y is B. B is Y. Remember that. Oh, rotate, hold. Oh, okay. Move forward and back. Can I spin it? No, at least not yet. Cancel. Now, I didn't pay attention to how much... Wait. Is there no button to... What did I just do? Oh, that's what I did. Camera! Uh, no, but what I want is... Is there a way to... There's no way to center that. That's... I'm not a fan of that, actually. Okay, so let's... Use the ultra hand. The hand... What? Do we need to... I mean, okay. I, I've watched trailers, so I, I know about the fusible... Yeah, that's what I thought. Attach. Um, But I don't want to do that. I want to release it. I push it over. No. How do I how do I knock it over? I guess I can do this. Go. Ah. Okay, whatever. Att 
attach. I've used the magic glue with the ultra hand. Things hands are known to do. Okay, so unstick. That's really weird. Please move. Fine. Oh, I see what I'm doing. I see what I'm doing. B is Y. Kind of weird. I really wish there was a center button, but there probably is. I'm probably just not aware of it. Attach. All right, now I have a really big plank. Now using the master hand and the mighty putty. And the ultra hand does kind of come off like a like a Billy Mays product. It really does. Grab pizza, grab your hot pizza from the oven with the ultra hand. Apply, uh, mush, and attach. Well, that's weird looking. It's kind of like water up there. I will say I. I think I like the aesthetic of, of these shrines more than the Breath of the Wild shrines, and that might be because it, they're, it's fresh. But it, it feels a little bit more organic in part of the world as opposed to Breath of the Wild. Alright, so... We're supposed to make a machine here. Yeah. We're supposed to build up speed there. We have a ball? Oh, uh, that's probably why there's no center button. Okay. Why do I have a ball, and why is it attached? I also have a hook. And then there's that. That almost looks like a secret. Like, if I get up there... Oh, no, it's there to show me. Okay, it's, it, this is... Oh, this is simple, though. Okay, grab this. Oh, I'm dumb. I'm dumb. I held L. Okay. That makes sense. We're good. We're good. I may be dumb. But I'm not stupid. Okay. Cancel. Grab this. Rotate. Oh, I need to use the D-pad. Alright. Attach. This is very simple. I just made it very complicated. Okay. I don't know if I... Okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. Look at the power of Mighty Putty. A flex tape! I did it! As seen on TV, try it today! Order right now and we'll double the offer! B is Y. Uh, real quick. But Okay. Alright, alright, alright. Was there a chest I missed? I guess I can't go back now? Yeah, I can't actually go back anymore. Huh. Okay. So if there was a chest, oh well, we'll go back for it. Eventually. Hi. You have done well to reach this place. We offer this light that will cleanse you of evil. It is a soul orb, not at all like the spirit orb that you spent the entire last year collecting. Light of blessing, a crystal that glows with a light that purges ancient evil and purifies it with its radiance. Radiance, radiance, radiance. May the light of blessing grant you the strength you seek. I thought that rock was going to crush them. 
Also, is the design of that island the same as the island from the end of the Champions Ballad from Breath of the Wild? I think it might be. Safe skydiving. Always practice safe sk skydiving, kids. Always... You know what? I'm not going to complete that sentence. Oh. <laughs> you did... You did very well getting through that shrine. Now you've restored an ability. This is wonderful. If you visit and complete two more shrines, you should be able to open the door to the Temple of Time. Hmm. You may want to mark the shrines in the distance with pins. Then you'll never lose track of where they are. The Parapad para offers you a very useful scope. It is quite handy. Get it? Because you have my hand. It's a pun. My name is Raru, but not the Raru you're familiar with. I am a different one, and completely different. This is... I do believe this is Skyloft, but who can say for sure? This is definitely Skyloft. Maybe I'm crazy, 